Hello there, it's Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk and uh, today I thought we would have a look at uh, my latest um, eBay purchase. Now I've been short of joysticks for a while, uh, not particularly for myself to play with but when I uh, do up the old computers, um, if I'm not just selling the computer just on its own, if I'm actually selling a full system, I like to include obviously a few joysticks and other um, peripherals for the new owner to um, enjoy with it and I have been uh, I've been getting a little bit short on um, good joysticks um, so I was browsing on eBay the other day as you do and I saw a massive job lot of joysticks all that the listing really said it had um, a couple of pictures of some boxes and it was um, 50 plus joysticks so I put a bid in and um, unbelievably actually uh, for what I paid for them um, I won the auction, uh, I was the only bidder, probably because it was a collect only auction. Um, but even, though, even so, I'd have expected someone more local to me to have bid more than um, I actually put in on these. But anyway, like I said, I uh, put a low bid in, and um, I was the only bidder, and I won the auction. Only slight drawback about it was, um, I'm up in Manchester, and uh, these were down in Coventry. So it were a... Uh, about a 200 and uh, 240, 250 mile round trip today. Um, I actually paid more in diesel, um, not by much, um, but I actually paid more in diesel um, to go and pick these up than um, it actually cost me for the lot on eBay. But uh, without further ado, let's have a uh, look what um, I have uh, bought here. We'll have a look in these first box. And the seller, I must say, really pleased with the seller. Excellent communication. And uh, they were totally honest with them. They're all bought, sold as seen. Um, she did say that they had tried a few. They'd been um, testing them, but they'd literally just like run out of time with them. So uh, she said that she knows that some of them work. She can't guarantee they all work. But that's what I do. I buy them broken and I um, fix them up. So let's have a look in the... The first, uh, the first box here, and we have now these are a pair of uh, Atari uh, 7800. I think these are for the 7800. I mean, they'll work on just about anything, but uh, I've never see, actually seen these in the flesh before. I've only ever seen them uh, like on YouTube and um, on auctions and things like that. So we've got uh, look, two of them which they don't feel too bad, I'm sure they'll need some work on them, or at least a bit of a clean, but uh, a couple of them. And she did say, um, and in the listing, that there was um, some Ataris uh, in with the lot. Um, so as well as that, we have Atari 2600 Junior game. I think that's a replacement, but um, is it the right? Is it right? Nine volts. It's yeah. I think it's like one of these cheapy generic. Oh no, it's got the right connector on it. Um, so we've got a power supply for it. I will double check that that's the right power supply before I actually plug it in with a power joystick. Uh, not the best of condition ones. It's uh, it's succumbed to either a dog or a small child it's been chewed on the top but uh, I've got loads of bits of these um, from other ones that I've uh, repaired and ended up with spares so I know I've got some of them shafts um, so that's easily repairable uh, so that's box number one and she did tell me that this one is in working order they had that up and running um, before the auction so that's actually a working Atari 2600 Junior not AV modded or anything, so that's an upcoming video. We'll be doing the AV mod on that and giving it a clean up and getting that ready for market. It's going to be quite a nice. It's a little bit scabby on the front there. Uh, it's got a little ding, ding in it there, and a little bit of oxidisation. But I've seen them far, far worse. And the most important thing with that, the bane of these um, 2600 juniors, is the little plastic tags there and there. These always seem to be snapped off on a lot of the juniors that I see. 
and without them two little tags there um, the cartridge won't actually fit in and you end up wedging little bits of um, cardboard into the uh, into the edge of your cartridge there so that that bit of plastic there is jammed down and you can fit it in but um, this one is good I think we'll just try that we'll see if that will fit in there now Come on. I've got that the right way in let's have a look, let's see if this will fit in that uh, Oh, I'm going to put it in the wrong way around, that's why. We're going that way. There we go, so that works, that fits in nicely. So we've got one 2600 there. This is 2600 Junior, a stick controller in the game. And then let's have a look here. We have. Aftermarket a Turbo Touch 360, and this is for the Super Nintendo, which is really good because I didn't actually have any Super Nintendo controllers. I don't particularly like these with the way you literally you press like that and the touch sensitive. I'm not a big fan, but for what it is, I mean. I didn't have any Super Nintendo. I've got a Super Nintendo. Well, I've got a box of broken bits of Super Nintendo. Um, so, at least if I try and get a Super Nintendo working out of all that lot, I've now got a controller. Um, I can try with it. We've got a couple of 2600 paddle controllers. Always nice. Feels a bit rough, the pot on that one. It feels very scratchy, actually. But... Again, that's easy enough to repair. That one doesn't feel too bad. A little bit loose, the nuts are loose on them, but uh, these are easy enough again to um, to service. So we'll probably go through some of them and see what we can do with uh, yeah, the yeah uh, the nuts loose on that. But that should be fixable. They're quite nice to have. And into the first big box, there we have another. Oops, let's try not to bang the tripod. We've got another 2600 Junior. Now, she did say that she couldn't get this one to work, um, which is how we like them. Uh, again, it's got the two little tags there and there. They haven't been snapped off, which is really good. So, again, we'll have a crack with that one. Um, it may just need an AV mod. I've seen loads and loads of these that give an absolutely lousy or no... RF output and when you AV mod them they work absolutely perfectly they work fine and this one is in really really look at the uh, there's no corrosion on that there's no oxidization there's no real there's tiny tiny little scratch on it but it's in really really nice condition so that will make an excellent starter 2600 for um, someone and then we're on to the fun stuff we have well we have 50 plus joysticks and we have everything in here. Now I have one of these already. I really actually quite like these. That is the um, quick shot. This is the idea of this is this will work on the um, Sega Mega Drive and the Master System. And the idea is obviously it's an arcade stick, but if you notice it has two two wires coming off it. Because this is both player one and player two. And what you do is um, you actually switch with this switch. You have player one's played the game, and you hand it over to player two, and they flick that over like that, and it's then player two's um, controller. Uh, like I said, I have one of these myself. Um, that'll get cleaned up. That's a, um, that's really really good actually. That'll clean up really really nicely. We have loads of. These are great for bundling with like a Commodore 64 or an old, an old, hang on let me uh, get you in shot, there we go. These are the old uh, Spectra Video, this is what I used to have um, a lot back when I was a kid because it was basically all I could afford. These were like a fiver, um, brand new back in the day. Uh, they're as basic and cheap a joystick as you can possibly get but they're nice for, you know, if I'm selling off a C64 or something like that, um, bundle one or, one or two of them with it and it's uh, quite nice. 
a bit loose and uh, wobbly as you can see but we will go through all these um, I think I'm going to do some videos on uh, joystick servicing and repair so we will go through all these they're not the worst joystick in the world but uh, that is basically your bog standard if you was um, a pauper like I was when I was a kid uh, that's what you had and I said C64, Amstrad CPC um, anything like that these are uh, Alright, little joysticks to uh, bundle with them. They're not a too bad a joystick to play with. What else have we got in here? Aha! Now, what's. Let's see what plugs on the end of this one, because this could be. Ah! Let's have a look here now. This may be an analogue stick. Um, judging by the fact it's white, and I believe it has a PC um, connector on it. Let's have a look here now. Ugh, there we go, we've got it free. So we've got a, a quick shot. Um, this is a prof quick shot for prof professional players. And oh, right, I'm actually quite surprised because this is a, uh, it's a PC um, joystick, but it isn't analog, it's actually a digital one like you'd find on your old Commodores. So that could be great for emulators and uh, things like that. So that I'll um, definitely have a bit of a clean up and see if that works. Well, so we've got more of the older, uh, so there's loads of these, um, I'm not disappointed with that for what I paid for them, but um, another of the, uh, well that's a quick shot, but it's, it's very very similar to the Spectra video, like I said, you're basically your yeah, yeah, Commodore Garden, bog standard, as cheap as they come, um, joystick. We have loads of these, the old Cheetah 125s, if you were... Uh, if you uh, pan over here, if you can see, I actually use a Cheetah 125 myself, just as a, a basic joystick. So, yeah, I think there's quite a few of these in the box. We've got, is this another PC one? I don't think it is, actually. Let's have a look. We've got, basically very similar to the white one I've just shown you. It's a um, quick shot for professional players. Same auto fire on there up, down, left, right, but this one is a, um, if you look on this switch here, where it has A, B, C and D, A, Atari and Commodore, B, MSX, C, Amstrad and D, Sega. So I'm expecting this will work with a master system and you may have bu probably button one and button two on the top there if you have it set to the uh, D position. So that's quite decent. So these are a little bit better, these are out of my price range when I was a kid, unless some uncle or something bought me one for a Christmas or a birthday. And if they did, I'd usually flog it on to someone and um, use the money for something else. Because I was happy enough with the Spectra videos. That's exactly the same again. A uh, little bit of uh, rot on it there. These feet are starting to get um, a bit tired now. But again, um, it'll clean up now. Oh! Now this one's a micro switched one. I didn't actually realise. Yeah, you've got two identical joysticks there. Both quick shots. Both switchable for all the old 8 bits and 16 bits. But that one is just like a, a normal one. And this one is a, a micro switch one. So that's decent. I think that's pretty much all we've got in. Oh, oh, oh! What have we got down there? That looks interesting. That's another quick shot. Look at that! Now I've seen one of these on eBay before. Um, I've never actually seen one in the flesh. But this is actually a joystick. It's a quick shot and it's left, right. You basically you put your hand on it and you control it like that. Too big. But now one of these were designed for either I don't know whether were the infirm, the disabled, or little children in mind. I'm not sure, but again, it's another one. I've never actually come across one of these before, so and it does feel micro switched. Yeah, it is micro switched. Even both control, both buttons. It's an SVI, SVI quick shot. So, yep. Yeah. Another one that looks interesting. We have 
the rest are pretty much the same as what I've just shown you. Um, there's some more Atari 2600. These are always good. So, so I've got some more Atari 2600 um, joysticks. Oh, let's get these ones I've dropped and put them back in the box. And we will go on to the next box. Ooh. Let's uh, get that in shot, shall we? We've got another one here. Mm. This is the final box. What have we got in this one? Well, pretty much the same again. Now, what's that? Is that a? Uh, it's, well, it's got a broken. Uh, it's got a broken stick there, if you could see. Is that Nintendo 64? Is that a? Is that Nintendo 64? I don't know where my Nintendo 64 is. I'll have to dig it out and see if that's the same. Uh, the same connector. I think that's Nintendo 64. But like I said, it's got a broken, uh, broken stick there. So I think uh, D-pad. Everything else feels good on it. That analog stick feels good. So we may have a look at seeing what we can do with that. See if we can bring that back to life. What else have we got in here? That's interesting. I don't think I've ever come across one of these before. Ooh. Have a look at that. That's uh, it's a quick shot again. For professional players, I don't know how professional you are playing with a quick shot, but is it like a handlebar type thing? You've got a fire button there, you've got a fire button there, your D pad. Again, this is one of these um, ones where you know, A, B, C, or D, so it'll work on multiple systems. You know, It'll work on the Commodores, the Amstrads, MSX, and Atari. Not Atari, sorry, um, Sega. So yeah, another another interesting one that I've never come across one of them before. Hmm. We'll have to see what some of these are like to actually play. I may actually do a joystick shootout with a few of these um, controllers. Now we've got now these are old school. I do remember a mate of mine had a couple of joysticks like these. And they were hand-me-down, this would have been in the late 80s, this would have been, we had, a, we had, what did I have? I think I had my Amstrad and he had a Commodore 64 at the time. And he got them from one of his cousins who, uh, who were hand-me-downs. But I remember uh, we used to play with these, we used to play all sorts with, uh, with these. Um, they are actually quite nice joysticks, they are... Micro switched. That one doesn't feel so. Well, it switches in all directions, so it's not that bad. But all controls are micro switched on it. The uh, pads have gone, but that's not a big problem. Really isn't anymore. We can replace them. So, yeah, we've got one of them. And that is a. It's um, a Delta 2000. More, but more of the quick shot cheapies there. I'm probably going to call this quits in a minute. Let's just see if we've got anything else. Some more Atari uh, 2600 style controllers. That's interesting. That's early. What have we got here? That's a. Uh, that's quite an early cheetah joystick. That's a cheetah annihilator. Again, it doesn't feel brilliant, but. Uh, I'm sure we can do so that button doesn't work at all. I'm sure there's something we can do with that. Quite nice that it's uh, a, a cream coloured one rather than black. And what else have we got in here? Ah! Now I'd spotted this in the. Uh, I'd spotted this one straight away in the actual auction listing and I knew it was worth having um, if I got it cheap enough just because of that. Um, that's a genuine um, zip stick. These are really, really nice joysticks. All micro switched. I do have one of my own at the moment, you know, that I've had for years. Uh, we'll have to have a look at that, see how that works properly. But yeah, that is that's brilliant um, out of the lot. It's missing its feet. I'd probably put some rubber feet on that rather than the suction cups because these are one of them joysticks that's good to 
They're a nice joystick to hold in your hand to use. What else have we got? A lot of the others are just repeats of what I've already um, shown you. Oh, bloody hell. Now, uh, we've got a Competition Pro, another Zipstick style joystick. Not quite to the same um, quality as that zip Zipstick I've just shown you, but it is micro switched. I think it'll need a bit of cleaning up that one, but another really nice joystick. And then we have. Ooh, we have quite a few by the look of it. Is that a ABC? Bit poor condition. Um, obviously, that's pulled out there. Um, but a Mega Drive aftermarket, obviously, Mega Drive pad. So these are quite good. We will have a look at that and we'll see what we can do with that. And another Mega Drive pad. And that's brilliant because I was really shocked. I bought them, that five Mega Drive pads I showed you um, the other um, in that other video. But I've got I've got either 15 or 20 um, Mega Drives kicking about. And I only had five controllers. So any more controllers that I find for uh, that will work on the Mega Drive is um, good for me. So that's two. Let's see what else we've got. Oh right, there's another one there. I mean they're aftermarket ones but beggars can't be choosers especially not when you're talking for 20 plus year old uh, systems so yeah another um, another Mega Drive controller there let's see what else we've got in here Ooh. hey that's only what gets, ah yeah and if you see a joystick with a little con connector on it like that that is a Commodore joystick um, for the Commodore 16 and the Plus 4. Now I do have one of these again already uh, for my uh, Commodore Plus 4 but uh, always handy to find another one. We'll have a look at it. It doesn't actually feel too too horrendous. Um, they're, again they're quite a nice joystick to hold these because they, they weren't designed to go on a table they were designed to be held in the hand like that. Only slight thing is they only have the one top fire button on them but a nice classic joystick and that's easy enough to get round I might even take the lead off this one and um, put a standard Atari style joystick on uh, sorry a standard Atari DIM plug on I could even just I could either cut that off and wire one on or I could use the entire lead off a scrap um, joystick and then I can use one of these on um, some of my other systems but like I said I do have a cracked one of them for my uh, Commodore 16 and Plus 4, so we'll see. Uh, I think we're getting to the end of all the. I've shown you that. I think we're getting to the end of it now. The, all the rest are basically just multiples of what I've already um, shown you. I uh, I think I don't think there's anything else in here which is uh, some some more. Uh, more Mega Drive aftermarket controllers, cheaters, which is pretty much that's a nice uh, micro switched one there. That doesn't feel bad at all, actually. That's quite a nice joystick. So yeah, it's they're all this type these uh, these type of joysticks. They're pretty much just all now multiples of uh, what I've already shown you. It's like a copy of an Atari style one. It feels very Atari -y, that. The gem stick, which looks like it's come from America. I don't know if you can make that out on the camera, but um, it cost five dollars sixty-three. So uh, I don't know where the people I got this um, lot from have been uh, shopping, but that looks like it's come from America. So yeah, um, I thought I would. Uh, I thought I would show you uh, this little lot of joysticks that I've um, picked up and the best thing is what I paid for them. Now bearing in mind it's cost me about £25 in diesel to actually uh, go and pick them up but I actually only paid £19.95 for the entire lot. That's including the two 2600 Junior um, consoles 
and 50 plus, there might be 50, slightly more than 50, she said it's, there's, there's 50 plus joysticks. So, even if you um, counter in my diesel, it's still, it's not including the two 2600s, it works out at under a pound each. So, uh, I'm rather pleased with that, and I thought I would uh, just give you a quick video just uh, showing you what you can actually pick up on eBay and after this we will do some videos in the not too distant future on um, perhaps servicing some of these, perhaps having a look at some of the slightly more uh, unusual and rarer ones that are in with this lot and uh, we might even do a bit of a joystick shootout with some um, a decent game or something and uh, see what feels good, see what's nice to play with so I'm going to leave it at that because I've waffled on for like 25 minutes just opening um, some boxes of joysticks. So um, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.